All right. Now let's figure out this place. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so going there just teleports me back to the cage. Save. Oh, we need to... Whoops. I need to heal a bit. Let's get a slice of pizza for Alex. Should be enough. And let's get a bunch of batteries for, es for the Essentia. Where is it? There it is. Alright. Essential one, two, three, and four. Good. Now let's save. Call again anytime. Can we burn this? No, not with but with Dali, with the flamethrower. Apparently not. Can we explode it? No. Hmm, that duel. What if I skate? Nope. Hmm. This is gnarly, uh, nasty. Why do I keep seeing gnarly? It's really not gnarly, it's just, ugh. All right, you never know. We literally, we, we have enough stuff to restore PP. But not necessarily enough for HP. Alright. Enjoy. Thanks. Oh, okay. Now wait, let me... Down. Right. And... Jump. Okay. The fuck do I do here? Oh. Oh. Yikes. This is so... This is Yumeniki quality stuff here. Entrance feels beautiful again. Can we take this with... Yes, we can. Danger lies ahead. Make sure you're ready pre before proceeding. Oh, <laughs> oh we're, we're like carrying it, but not really. Drop it. Save. So we're totally gonna get into a boss fight here. We're level 35. So... I think we're good. Let's go! This is not a lifetime I can recall. These machines. They're so familiar. And yet, something feels wrong. Is it safe to approach him? I cannot say. I would never harm you, Alex. But it is logical to assume that one of my many parallel lives may have some reason. Yeah, well, we did see that one room where a blue version of the Essentia quite literally slaughtered Alex. That was not pleasant to see. I knew you'd come back. 
Somehow, you look different. So many lives wasted, taken, and experimented on in hopes of obtaining this moment. And now, that I'm looking at you, I don't know if I should love you, or hate you, to kill you in the way that you killed me time and time again has been my only dream, my only waking thought for the past 50 lifetimes. What's he talking about? Do you ever feel guilty? Do you? What did I do? What's wrong with you, man? Everything was taken because of you! You bastard! Care to explain anything? I lost everything. My research. My wife. My kid. And all for what? For you? What the hell were you worth? Wait a second. That if. What if this guy was Nadia's husband? And the guy. Nadia left him for was a parallel version of Alex. Is that what this is supposed to be? Is that what, what it's what it what it means? You're a thief! Nothing more! It would make sense because he's very angry, he's involved with research, and he lost his wife and children to Alex, who's not the best guy on the block. I regret ever laying my eyes on you! Alex, I can't recall this life. For some reason, it's blocked to me. There is a void in my mind. There are white spots where I should see this life on the astral plane. Mom... Mom, is that you? How long has this life been lingering here? Alex, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to say such terrible things. Come here. Let me hug you. Let me say I'm sorry in your ear. What? Get away from me! It seems as if you harmed him in some way. Alex, look out! Oh no. Yuzu! <laughs> I wouldn't call that poetic skill, honestly. One damage, and Alex is stunned. Alright. Let's get him! He's level 23, how bad can it be? That bad. Oh! <laughs> Why does he have a sword? so hard to hit the next cycle. Oh! <laughs> 76 damage is good. 26 damage. Uh, healing is not.
He's using a Gundam suit, isn't he? That wasn't even my final form! Of course! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Um, I need to recover, I need to recover a lot. Grilled chicken sandwich. No, let's use the double bacon cheddar on Alex. That's good. And use a good battery on the Ascension. Very good. <laughs> This is how it goes. Thirteen hits. Very good. Hundred and two damage. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying now. Assuming I actually get the combos. Like, the less HP the enemy has, the faster Alex's disc spins, it seems. Ha 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 ha! 
so hard to hit. Oh. Oh, come on. Attack. Oh, that should be enough. Please be enough! Oh. Yes! 10 XP, great. Alex? Why? Because you attacked me. It was in self defense. I'm sorry I put you in harm's way. However, while I am with you, nothing bad can ever happen. I am here to protect you. I think I need you to answer some more questions. I'm really confused. Why did this Japanese guy know me? Why did he attack me? What did I ever do to him? I can only deduce an answer based on the information I have. This information is the same information that you have. So... These are simply educated guesses based on my own personal bias. Okay, fine. What do you think it is? I think it would be a safe assumption that, in a parallel life, you have harmed me. That this Yuzui Majo had some sort of relationship with you, and you hurt him in some way. When he saw you, he recognized something in your soul and became angry. This is why he attacked. I harmed him in a parallel life? I harmed you? We are not responsible for the actions of our parallel selves. But that does not mean we can't feel sorry for the crimes committed against other souls. There are times where someone expresses how they have been harmed. And as humans, our immediate reaction is to become defensive. In our defense, so that we do not harm others, we become offensive. It is in these moments where we decide what type of human we will be. Which is worse? To harm someone in the past, and continue to harm them by justifying your past actions. Or harming someone in the past and accepting that your choices hurt them. Yes, you might feel harmed in the process by admitting your mistakes. But this is a good type of pain. Pain that heals you into a better person is always better than avoiding the small pain of accepting you are wrong. Did I really do that? Did I always deny I harmed someone? Do I always feel the need to justify my actions? Yes, yes you do. Maybe. Yes. I totally did. We must always work to be better. The better person is not the person who doesn't make mistakes, but the person who makes a mistake and works to fix it and fix the part of themselves that led to that error. There are moments when I understand intellectually how I must act. But then, something happens. Somewhere in the recesses of my mind. Like a warm light in the distance. An idea forms. A completely human, flawed and kind-intentioned idea. Something that all versions of me know to be a mistake. However, the overwhelming feeling of doing the right thing takes over and I am forced to make a choice. And every time, this version of me chooses the kind path. I cannot allow any harm to come to you. Without you, 
I wouldn't know what to do anymore. So just remember, it's not important, Alex, to worry about what we accomplish. Somewhere out there, we have both accomplished and failed at all tasks. Take solace in this. There exist perfect versions of us who didn't fail or harm others. Just keep working as hard as you can, and you'll be able to be that perfect version of yourself. So, should I feel guilty that I harmed him in a parallel life? That question is irrelevant. Just acknowledge that the part of you that harmed him exists in all humans, and then work to polish the blemish on your soul that had led to that action. Wait, I have one more question. What is it, Alex? Did... Did I harm any of the other women we met? The ones who were also you? Oda, Nyla, Serna, Bella? The Essentia 2000 went on staring at me with that expressionless face of hers. A face of plastic. Looking at her, I thought of a satellite floating in space. A drifting piece of man-made material traveling through a place man can barely go. What I had said was out of pure curiosity. I had no way of knowing with any certainty that I had harmed any of these women. My words, though, seemed to have jammed at something in there. I could read the effect on her face. Eventually, without a word, the Ascension 2000 turned away and proceeded from the room. It's very interesting to me that you ask this. I'm going to choose to not answer this question as of now. There is one last location I'd like to show you, and it's quite a distance. I will answer more questions when we arrive. I longed to wash away the bitter taste in my mouth, but even sipping from a water bottle wouldn't cleanse me of it. The whole situation felt like a dream, as if I was wading through pools of jello. Even then, I kept telling myself that the things around me weren't that weird. But seeing Sammy vanish, meeting entities, and entering inside a dungeon in my mind should have prepared me for this. But you know, I don't think it did. I wanted to ask the Ascension 2000 if I could feel the feelings of my parallel lives. I realize now I was just seeking an explanation for the various feelings that were surging through my heart. I felt closer to Vela, closer to, well, every single parallel life of the Ascension 2000. And yet, furthest from Sammy. Is Sammy really all that important to me? Or had I just been delaying joining the real world with all this adventure? Did I really ever want to find her now that I know what finding her actually meant? No, I did. I really did. And I don't regret what I learned. Or even what happened next, because if I had never learned what I was about to learn, I could have never met you. And without you, all hope is lost. Fourth wall break. I think. I'm never quite sure what this game is talking about. Or whom it addresses. That did feel like a fourth wall break. How do we get back here? Those stairs were the exit to my mind dungeon. Now we have returned to the foyer. In order to proceed, we must first return to the beginning. Allow me to open your mind. To grant you access to the Hall of Parallel Lives. This feels on good. Hmm. Alright, so this is the regular mine dungeon which we can't go into. And this is the Hall of Parallel Lives. Oh boy. For now, I will ask you not to enter any of the rooms on our left or right. Inside are the various parallel lives that your soul is currently engaged in. I believe it would be traumatic for you to experience them at this point in your life. Our destination is at the far end of this hall. That room is the one used to chronicle the past and future of this Alex. The one I am speaking to now. My favorite. Oh, we can't even enter them. <laughs> it would be cool if they at least gave you the option. Alright. Dramatic camera zoom. Go new. 
Here we are. Where am I? The other rooms had you in them. Why aren't I here? You are, and you are speaking. What I'm about to show you is something that lies at the heart of all of your souls. Please, prepare yourself for a harsh amount of bitter truth. You are an asshole. What you are about to see cannot be unseen. Should I... be worried? No, not if you took to heart what I have taught you. What do you mean? What have you taught me? To recognize your flaws and work to correct them, I am about to show you your greatest flaw of all. Destruction! Oh boy. Is this gonna be some Ness's Nightmare-esque thing? Where we have to fight the bad part of our soul? Hey, dude. Oh, the figures of light are back. From, like, the very, 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 very first chapter. It was a normal day, just like any other. And the sky lit up and we were overcame by your bright aura. My soul left my body and as my body disappeared. Where am I now? Hey, dude. I was caught off guard when the end came. It was like a thief in the night. That's what my mom would say, but she's gone too. Gone away just like my body, and the sun, and the moon, and the stars. What, did I destroy the universe or something? When you came for us, it was as if we had come for ourselves. Our tab was being collected on and we all realized we deserved this. Perhaps you didn't. You were just like the rest of us, only you took the blame. It's a curious thing, losing your body and universe. We don't have a good way of describing reality, so we show it as the Earth, since that's all most people ever know. I'm sorry you came down to this. You tried your best. I would do it too, in fact. Maybe I did. She said we must defend the bad. She said we must defeat ourselves in order to tame the destruction. But maybe she never understood us at all. Oops. He's regenerating. I don't understand. How is this my flaw? In a way, it is everyone's flaw. Destruction. To be destruction or to be creation, it can only be one in the end. But what will I destroy? This reality, as you have destroyed many realities before this one. Oh my god. How could I destroy reality? What powers do I have that could lead to this type of devastation? Inaction is just as much an act of aggression as taking up arms. And... Will this happen? How will I do this? In the year 2000, January 1st, this is the entire game's premise, Y2K, Millennium Bug, it's, it's all Alex's fault. I do not know. But what's important is that it hasn't happened yet, and... Wait, you're saying... We can still stop this? No. Your reality was doomed long ago. Yay. All realities cease to exist. The only thing you get to decide is if you aid in the destruction or fight against it. Fight against it? But you said it was doomed! None of this makes any sense! This reality will fade away, and another will take its place. But this does not mean that you can't prevent the loss of future realities. How would I do that if we all die? Come with me. Escape into the soul space. We can take your friends with us. Together, we will protect realities from the ultimate loss. Loss of souls who perish with worldly attachments in their hearts. 
When a soul is bound to the planet by thoughts and obsessions of worldly things, they die with the reality. But a soul that is free of love for the physical, and longs only for the spiritual, can find life in the soul space. But I want to save this reality. What about my mother? My friends? I couldn't just convince them to enter the soul space. I don't even think I could convince my mother that there is a soul space. What do you want to do, Alex? Whatever you decide, I am with you every step of the way. But wait, why is this... Why is this my choice? Because you're the one who's going to blow up the reality. Because this is your reality, not mine. Or that. I just want you to be happy. Essentia, how do you know me? Why do you care so much about me? Because you have been in all of my lives. And at every turn, I have been there for you. Even when you have harmed me, I have always loved you. I would fight a losing battle for you. I... What do I even say to that? As Sammy, you helped me when no one else wanted to help me. As Vela, you gave me back my music. The only thing I ever expected to love. Wait! You're saying I'm the asshole that used Vela and... Alex, regardless of how much you have harmed me in any of my parallel lives, I am always here for you. I want to help you be the best that you can be. Can't you help me be the me that saves this reality? From whatever the hell all these things are falling from the sky? It is impossible. But if you would like to try, we may try. But how do you know it's impossible? I can feel the reality breaking apart. I can feel souls fleeing in every direction. This world will soon end. On January 1st of the year 2000. But there has to be something we can do. Some way to be strong enough to take down whatever is going to destroy this reality. Even I am not strong enough to face what's coming for this reality. But what about me? Vela, you, and the others? It pleases me that you want to fight for something. I know this isn't your usual way. It thrills me to see this passion in you. Together, we can attempt to fight this ender of realities. Just know, we will fail, but we will fail together. Don't be such a downer! If I'm going to die, I at least want to go down swinging. What other choice do I have? I understand now that in your heart, there is no other choice. Perhaps you, Alex, are different from the others. I will stay and fight with you. But if we are going to do this, we must convince your friends to help us, and we must train. Even I am not at my most powerful. We must complete the mind dungeon before the end comes, and be prepared to fight it. How do we convince them that the world is gonna end? By convincing them that this reality will soon perish, and by making them understand that this world is just a byproduct of that destruction. Okay, so what's this great destruction that will be obliterating reality? It's the same destruction that destroys all realities. And yet, I can't give it a name. But when you see it, you will recognize it. I think I want to go home now. Everyone's probably wondering where I went. Yes, we've been gone quite a while. Really? How long? It's been 3,000 years. Five days, three hours, and two minutes. Three minutes. Wait, wait what? Everyone's probably freaking out! Let's, let's get out of here! Oh boy! Chapter 5 The Y2K Problem Soosh! Out we go.